morning this parcel is just being delivered and i have no idea what it is there's a green bag inside oh that's really 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 effective there is a green bag inside so maybe it is my runway stuff oh my word it's like flipping past the parcel <laughs> i'm covering trying to cover my address yeah i think it is my stuff from runway so i got ah uh, why is nothing cooperating i got this green coat which i know you can't see right now properly this red jumper i ordered this stuff like two months ago this stripy jumper i don't remember ordering that the thing is i order stuff from runway it takes so long to come i never remember what's coming i think they've sent it all in two packages and this really cool hat i think they've sent it in two packages because i have got another coat like a mustard yellow coat i remember i bought this because this wasn't too much money and i would never wear this outside the house <laughs> but it looked really cozy to wear indoors and really really silly <laughs> it's basically i'll probably put it on later or something and show you but it's just basically a jumper with a hood and pom-poms so yeah that's why i got that I got this red jumper it's not a great way to show you guys i'm sorry but it's got this like woven pattern here it's quite cool and then i got this hat which <laughs> i can't wait to wear it's got funny little ears i've got a little pom-pom hat like a beanie like this with like two pom-poms on from from we the other year and so I thought I'm going to get this as well. <laughs> the last thing I've got is a cool green coat. It feels really soft and cosy. I was just like putting this on because I was cold and I'm about to put my makeup on in that. And I was just playing with the pom-poms and one of them fell off already. Oh, So I feel like wearing this today and uh, my jumpsuit from Topshop ages ago. But I want to wear a jumper over the top because I think I'll be too cold. But I can't seem to find the jumper I want to wear with this. I've tidied all of this this weekend and, oh, <laughs> I found it. <laughs> I was about to panic because I'd like tidied everything. And then I was like, how have I lost something? Everything's organized. Oh, well, it's a bit windy. Uh, so I'm on my way to Jamie's home store for my first pit stop. I've got my lift and everything, so don't forget I don't know how I'm going to carry a load of DIY stuff and a load of pumpkins. It's going to be really interesting. I really didn't have much luck in there. I got some candles and that was it. So I'm going to go to W.A. Smith and pray that I've got everything I need. So I'm here in W.A. Smith and I need to just find some cheap acrylic colours. And there's so many. And I can't exactly remember exactly like the shades I need. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh, this is so daunting. This has not been as successful as I thought it would be and it's just turning out way expensive so I'm just gonna go get the Starbucks. Yes, got my pumpkin spice actually you know. I'm really hot today, it's actually quite mild. I give up on trying to find everything I need so I'm gonna go to Sainsbury's, get all the pumpkins and then try and get the rest tomorrow when I come back in town. Back in Sainsbury's as usual. But I'm trying to find some pumpkins. Well, the ones that they have outside are huge. I really don't think I'm gonna get those. We've got some small ones here. They're tiny, but I might get a couple of these actually. I can't find glitter anywhere. I don't know what to do. It's supposed to be $2,000. Yeah. I've just got back and I will show you what I got. I'm gonna put these flowers in water because um, these are actually going to be part of my DIY. So I think I'm just going to put them in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, who needs to use the bathroom sink? Not me, apparently. Sorry, it's like pitch black. I'm going to fill that with water. I really, really need a wee. And I've got a jumpsuit on. I've got to take my leather jacket off, my jumper, and my jumpsuit. The one thing I hate about wearing jumpsuits is that they're just such a pain. Like especially on a night out, oh my god, and when you're tipsy. I'll show you what I got in here because my room's still a mess. I need to sort that out. So, I didn't get everything I wanted. Holy crap, this is heavy in one hand. <laughs> oh my god. So I got three 
sort of medium sized pumpkins because to be honest I don't think I'm going to need a big one especially if it's just decoration for like around my room and that so I got three of these sort of different sizes and I got two mini pumpkins to do some stuff with and then all the DIY stuff I got some candles which isn't actually for the DIY itself but you always need tea lights and I will probably have some tea lights in my video and then I got PVA glue and I got a load of paint which I'm not going to tell you what it's for just in case this video goes up before so I've got some gold paint some like a duck egg blue colour oh it's pale olive it looked like a duck egg blue in the shop what the heck oh whatever that be fine and then I got yellow and a red even though it looks it looks pink now what the heck oh my god right and then I got another candle and then I got another candle as well and these were from WH Smith and so was the PVA glue and these were from Jamie's home store as well as these candles here I don't know if there's more Jamie home stores around the country all I know is that there's one in my town and that's about it and it's one of those stores that have like everything I really need to find glitter and some like you know that kind of like bendable like um silver like wire you can get um i really need some of that but i couldn't find any but i think i might have some in my old textiles and fashion folders so i'm going to rummage through well not folders but um like bags full of like stuff i used to use in my textiles so i'm going to rummage through those fingers crossed i can find some if not i bet it's all at my mum's that's really annoying i need some sponges there's a, a circular sponge that's all i ask for and the only ones that i can find are in like a pack of like 10 brushes and it's like eight quid and i'm like i'm not spending that so you know i just bought a load of acrylic paints <laughs> well i'm trying to look for some wire i'm just looking through this bag this <laughs> my god this is so old the i love hillview bags my textile teacher had them made up and people could like buy them i've just looked in here and what do i find loads of acrylic paints oh they are hang on they're watercolor paints i thought that was too good to be true <laughs> sorry about all the mess as well i'm trying to sort the house out it's so messy i really 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 want to do this diy and i'm so excited about it that i've actually spent probably like the last 30 40 pounds i can really spend on anything on that so i hope you guys appreciate it and also i'm gonna go upstairs i don't know why i'm banging this um, I'm going to go upstairs and, sorry, it's really messy in the background. Um, I'm literally trying to, like, I've turned this house, like, upside down, just trying to organise everything. So I'm going to go upstairs and sort out the rest of my room. It shouldn't take too long. I've just thought I should probably eat something. <laughs> I don't really have much food in. And I spent all my money on doing DIY stuff. So I've got a literally thumb. I just realised the other day when I was doing that speed up tutorial cooking thing that my toilet... I can't even see it now yet, my toilet was in the video, lovely. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to film me doing it because you guys have seen me do roast vegetables all the time. I'm just going to roast some vegetables and do some brown rice and that will be my din din tonight. I'm just going to do garlic and uh, use the rest of that up, the rest of, and the rest of squash, and the Tommy tomatoes and the rest of this red pepper and a courgette and a carrot um, we need some rice do some brown rice do I not have anything else I can put with it? I really miss having quinoa I probably need I need to buy some but I always forget to buy quinoa quinoa is so nice I'll happily eat quinoa and roast vegetables on its own I will eat quinoa on its own but um, oh well and I think I'm going to put a stock cube in with the rice no I'm just going to use I really don't like these normal um, stock pot things, but I need to get them used up. I hope they're in date still. 11th, 13th, yeah. So I just want to use these up because I don't want to waste money. Um, so I'm going to put that in with the rice. I've just put those in the oven. Just my usual mixed vegetables. And then I'm going to put the rice in. Um, I really can't be bothered to measure this. So I reckon, no I reckon I'm just going to put all of that in because I think I've done quite a lot of vegetables so this will probably do me maybe lunch tomorrow as well which is handy. 
so I'm just I'm literally just going to pour the rice in. Now obviously I miss Doug a lot, but I do miss the routine that we have of like if he makes dinner then I'll wash up and if I make dinner then he washes up, but I'm on my own so I've got to do it all myself. So I've just realised I need to get today's Vlogtober up. I was planning on doing it but then I had to rush into town before all the shops shut. I need to try and find some glitter online. Someone said look in Hobbycraft, which I would, but it's on the industrial state, which like I kind of need a car for that. I know so a load of you are saying, why don't you drive? And it's like, to me, driving isn't something everyone has to do. It's like university. It's like expected that everyone... I thought my phone was going off. Um, it's expected that everyone should go to university and everyone should drive. And most of my friends drive, bar a couple of us, mainly because I've always been in this town. So um, beginning of sixth form is sort of when most people get their car and start to drive. It's always been cheaper for me just to get a bus. Like I know it'd be more convenient, but driving is expensive and a lot of my friends their parents have bought their car and paid for their insurance and everything and my parents wouldn't do that <laughs> so i can't really afford you know to pay that and so when i can spend 50 pounds for a month worth of travel on a bus although it's a little bit annoying when i've got lots of bags or it's rainy or i want to get places that aren't near to bus stops it's only maybe once or twice a month that I could do with a car, so it's really not worth the money for me. And the only time I really travel anywhere is London, and everyone I know that has a car always gets a train to London from here, because it's actually a lot more convenient getting a train than it is driving. I will probably learn to drive when I'm a bit older, when I need it, sort of, I don't know, when I have kids. I really, really love this coat that came from Romwe. I want to film a haul, but I've just realised I want to wait until the other coat comes as well. I would have to say Romwe are really good for like boyfriend style jacket coat kind of thing. I'll show you it on, it really doesn't go with what I'm wearing, but I'll put it on anyway. That is a really odd angle. I just like don't know what I would ever wear this with. I guess it doesn't really matter. I like this, this is different from sort of anything I really wear. Because you can't really see. Basically it looks like that. I know it's really silly because I've tucked my hair in. This is definitely not the sort of coat that you can tuck your hair into. I'm going to take my hair out. <laughs> I really like this coat. Probably not the best colour for someone with fair skin. But heck, I love it. And I do find that Ron Wee coats come up a little bit short on the sleeves. But if I'm wearing it with like jumpers, then it's quite nice to kind of have the layers. I really like this coat. I don't, I don't know what that dance is. <laughs> oh god, I've got my light on and my window open. People can probably see me. I'm just sat here editing and I've got my dinner. Literally, does it's not much at all. It's just vegetables and all the rice is underneath. It's like really tasty and normally I would love this, but I'm really not hungry. I don't know what it is. Like I'm not stressed. I just feel so overwhelmed with like everything that I've got to get done that I'm like sort of just on a roll and I think I'm really like hyper on caffeine and I just, I, I'm really not in the mood to eat. I put my hair up because it's absolutely annoying the tits off of me. <laughs> Even though you guys say that I look fine with my hair up, I'm a, like, eh, don't like it, probably because I'm not used to it. So anyway, so I was cleaning through this room and because um, this used to be my dad's old room, it still had all his like old t-shirts and clothes and everything like up in these cupboards here. So I cleared all of those out the other day and they're all downstairs ready for him to just sort out and either keep or get rid of. And I came across some photo, well, what are they? They're not photo albums, like pho old photo thingies. In the days, you know, where you used to get your photos developed. I just come across a load of old photos that I haven't seen of myself. And it's weird because I really do remember a lot of this stuff. And some of the photos are just so funny. Like I come across this one here, me and my little red coat. Hang on, I'll try and find them and some good ones and show you. It's not gonna focus that well. This is one of me just lying. They're like, oh God, life is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's really fuzzy, but my facial expression is hilarious. And then there's me in my little red coat. And then like me by the pond. And then this was in a local park of mine where ten years later I was getting drunk with my mates. <laughs> um don't know if there were any good ones. Me just like running around. 
and uh, yeah, more running. Don't know why I'm standing like that in that video. And in that video, I mean in that photo. <laughs> I loved the camera when I was little. Oh my god, there's me and my um, teddy. I can't remember. It's not City. Is it from City and Sweep? And it's like the girl one. I can't remember. Yeah, it's me and my teddy. What the heck am I? Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> oh, there it is again. Oh my word. I was such a little poser. How was it not obvious that I was going to become a YouTuber? Like, if YouTube was around in my day, people would probably say, oh, she's going to be a YouTuber. Oh, my God. <laughs> Taking my socks off, apparently. Oh, my God, there's my dad. Look how young he looks. Oh, there's some more photos in here. It's the loveliest photo of me and my dad. And there's some really tiny ones here. I actually remember this, like being in the sea with my dad and going on like trips. How like long and blonde my hair was. I miss having really blonde hair. I can't understand why you can't be born with that and then like have your hair still that blonde as you get older. Uh, I think, yeah, this is probably a bit boring for you now. Definitely gonna have to Instagram some of them. I, I really wish like video, like camera cameras, like recording cameras, or kind of more of a big thing when I was little because I would have loved to have seen all the footage. So I'm kind of getting there with organising stuff. This is like my little basket that I'm going to put under the bed because I used to have like everything up here. Still got all my like makeup bits from earlier. But I just want to have this all nice and clear and clean and tidy. And I used to have some like a little stand here with my makeup on. But because there's not much room around the bed, I want to make as much room as I can. So I want to get rid of that. And I'm just going to put my makeup under the bed and then pull it out every day just to do my makeup. And so this is like my kind of makeup that I use every single day. Like in here is like everything I use. And then here I've got like my body lotion that I use every day. And like things like Batiste and cleansers and toners and stuff that I generally use all the time. Then in here I'm going to put stuff like spare cotton um, buds and pads, stuff like that. And I've got all my Lush things here. In here... This is stuff that I have either bought or been given at events that I'm not using at the moment because they're unopened apart from this body wash. So if I run out of stuff, I can look in here and check that I haven't got another one of this. Like, I've got my nail polish remover and that. And then in here, I've popped in all my nail polishes and hand stuff and um, hand creams and files and things like that. No, 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 I got myself a hot chocolate. And I'm just reading through your comments from the vlog that I just put up. Oh, it's f oh God, I need to put this down or I'm going to end up spilling it. So I'm just reading your comments. And they're all so sweet. Thank you for all your lovely comments. Someone goes, I just want to give you a massive hug and a hot chocolate. Is that weird? <laughs> if you're going to bring me hot chocolate, I do not mind. Chicken soup. Oh, I tell you what, the only chicken soup that I like is like the chicken noodle soup from the Chinese places. It's probably really bad for you, but it's my favourite. So yeah, just thank you for all the lovely comments. Oh, oh it's really attractive angle there. Oh, it feels so good to lie down. My back hurts so bad. Anyway, my room is done. Yes. Although there, there are like little bits I want to tweak, like. I would quite like to have a little bin in here so when I do my makeup I can put like my dirty cotton pads in the bin and things like that and on the door the two like hand handles are like broken not the actual hand door handle but like the little hooks on the door it's nice to just have the room done so when Doug comes back home at least there'd be a nice bedroom I'm not going to show you too much but I finally got the chest of drawers up and I just wanted to keep this all simple, just keep it simple, a candle and some magazines and that's that. Like I want it to feel nice and tidy but also, you know, lived in and I put my shoes under here and also under my bed. We'll be doing a room tour on my main channel for any of you that are writing that in the comments right now. But I've changed my necklace as well because <laughs> when I was organising my stuff, I... Oh. I came across this necklace and I think it might be another Delilah Dust one. Oh, I hate it when the backs of necklaces, like, hang on, I'm going to hold you between my legs. Oh, that works. I hate it when the backs of necklaces come round to the front. 
So it's basically like a little little gold feather. And I really like it, it's really simple. I think that is it. I'm gonna do some bloggy stuff quickly on my laptop and then I think I'm gonna get an early night because tomorrow I'm meeting my friend at two, I think it is. Yeah, I'm meeting my friend Kelly at two for a quick Starbucks to have a little catch up because I haven't seen her since April and that was when we all went to Spoons for my friend's birthday just in the afternoon just for like some lunch and that's the last time I've seen her and since then she's become pregnant and she's expecting that she's going to be a mummy at the beginning of next year so it's going to be strange you know with a baby bump but I am excited to see her. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!